six cone drill with a two versus two. That is the next variation in this six cone drill. Pressure on the two central players is even greater now. It cannot get any more game like than a two versus two situation. The two players in red really have to cover the space well and exploit it. If the ground passing game is not perfect, it leads to losing the ball and brings about problems for your own team. That's what this six cone drill featuring a two versus two is all about, and we're about to see this in the next video. All right, let's take up our positions again, including the second opponent. It is common to play the double number six against a double number ten, or vice versa. And now it's a two versus two. One comment now, the two opponents need to be monitored, meaning it is as important to close down the passing lanes as it is to put pressure on them right away. And then all that pressure is the last step. And for the two players in yellow, it's now a matter of showing intelligence, to be positioned in a staggered alignment, and to offer each other good angles. And you cannot pass the ball directly to the second yellow player, play it right away to blue. You need to react to the situation. If the player in white, the defender, blocks the passage and the ball cannot be played through, you need to find other options immediately. Understood? Let's go. One, two, and go on. Very good there. And go ahead and include catching the ball. That's it, Andy. Good job. And forever important is how forceful you play here. We need two, three good ones right now. With energy, let's go. One, two. Yes, playing a dummy, super, very good. And Merlin is right there. And we see Vito again, who's stationed a bit further. Okay, hold it for a moment. And here again, Vito creates space. And you can see how much space we have here. It is key for you not to be standing around here, but to occupy the opponent all the time, in order to put him in a position that's bad for him. And when you've manipulated the opponent this way, you can play the ball to Jewel or to me. You have two options for the pass, right? All right now, two or three dynamic actions to goal and switching one more time in the last phase. Let's go, boys. That's a good correction, Vola. Super, lots of space. And Vola in pursuit, steal the ball from him. And now let's try an 11 versus 11. Saturday or Sunday, the real competition, two versus two with pressure. Now the yellow players have to get open really well so the pass can be played to them. And blue has to check out closely to whom they can play, who's open. Gentlemen, that's not how you get open. This monotonous in and out we don't need now. This preactive movement before coming to and moving away. If you do it, it has to be executed decisively, or you open up and add pace to the action. If the opponent interferes, you can come here and the ball goes to the other player. What I mean is, Jewel, come over here, take Basim with you, all right, hold it. And now you can decide because Jewel provides Vito with some space. Get it? That's what this is all about. Jewel does not really want the ball, he creates space for Vito, who can take advantage of it. And we understand the two of you have to cooperate. Let's go. Two ball distant players, and the pass goes through the gap. Super Jewel, great run. And Vola on the same page, fully committed. 